growing health crisis in Madison County. Officials there are dealing with a potential epidemic of hepatitis C cases. Any way you look at it, it's bad news made even worse by the slow rollout of the county health department's clean needle exchange program. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt has been following this program and has more from Madison County. While it hasn't risen to the level of a crisis yet, Madison County health officials are dealing with a lack of confidence among IV drug users. On the first day of the needle exchange program, not a single individual stepped forward. Last week's high-profile arrest of 22 people for dealing and using heroin throughout the Anderson area underscores the need and State Board of Health approval of a needle exchange program. The Madison County Health Department is working tirelessly to overcome the concerns of IV drug users. They're just somewhat uh, hesitant to come forward uh, because of fears of, um, I guess, where the information might go, uh, questions about uh, law enforcement's involvement. And so I think so far we've been able to quell some of those fears. Along with clean needles, health officials hope to steer IV drug users into treatment and rehabilitation programs and eventually the state's insurance program, Healthy Indiana Plan 2.0. Community mental health centers do a lot of things. Um, besides offer treatment so we can help them with jobs and housing and um, that employment piece that gives somebody such a sense of well-being and self-worth. Throughout Madison County, there's a sense of urgency of getting people into treatment. According to newly released figures by the Indiana State Board of Health, the 102 hepatitis C cases in Madison County have already surpassed all of 2014. And given that surveys show that each individual with hepatitis C has had contact with as many as eight other individuals, the spread of the infection is a major public health threat. The definition of epidemic is essentially any kind of unusual increase or extraordinary Extraordinary increase in numbers compared to prior years and um, we are on pace to most likely um, be above the 2014 numbers. Madison County health officials trying to stop addiction and the spread of infection but desperately needing the help of IV drug abusers to do it. In Madison County, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Madison County health officials stress that all information gathered during needle exchange and treatment programs is strictly confidential. And for a complete list of times and dates for clean needle exchange locations, you can go to our website, theindychannel.com, and click on the hot button.